Let's talk about random sampling. I know I had mentioned random sampling before, but I want to give you a full in-depth primer onto what random sampling and sampling was in general. So, sampling starts off with a population. So this is the group of people you're interested in studying. For a school example, it would be all of the members in school. For an example of the US population, it would be the entire US population. So let's consider an example to concretize things. Let's make a small population, in this case, which is a family or something like that. In this case, I'll have 10 people in the population and I can label them one through 10. So we've got all of those people in the family. How can I take a random sample from this family? Well, there are two ways to do so that I'm gonna be discussing today. The first way we can do so is by taking no replacement. No replacement. This is the more common way to do so, I believe. And there's a couple ways to think about it. One way to think about it is you put all the family's lottery tickets, so each person gets assigned a number, you put them all in a bag, and then you draw out whatever your sample size might be from that bag. So if our sample size was two, we were looking to draw two people out, we go ahead and take two tickets out from the bag and those people would be in our sample. Another way to think about it is you could take all the people in the entire family, line them up, randomly move them around in that line, so make a random permutation of that line, and go ahead and take the first two individuals. In fact, there's lots and lots of ways to get this exact random sampling. So what would be examples of a sample from this family? So I'll write the numbers just in case. So an example might be one and seven, or another example might be three and six. So this might be Bob, and this might be Alice, and this might be Eve, and this might be Clementine. So taking these samples, we can get as many as we'd want, so long as it's less than 10, the total size of the population. Now, there's another way that we can actually go ahead and get samples. This one, as you might guess, is called with replacement. Again, you have a sample size, and so in this case it would be two. I'll go ahead and show you some samples and you can figure out what's different between them. So for example, one valid sample could be one and seven, and another one might be three and three. Okay, that's kind of interesting. The idea of with replacement is that instead of taking them out of the bag, so let's say we put all their lottery tickets in the bag and we took them out one by one until we reach the number of the sample that we'd like, we go ahead and we take one number out and we put it right back in. So in that way, we could draw someone's number out multiple times. And so if we were looking at the weight uh, in this case, we could go ahead and say, hey, this is Eve's weight once and then Eve's weight twice. So, and if with replacement went up to 10, you could have 10 of the exact same person, though that's highly unlikely. So what have we learned? We learned that both of these ways, either no replacement or with replacement, are great ways to take samples from populations. We know that if you take a sample with no replacement from a population, that sample needs to be smaller than the original population. However, with replacement, it can be just as big or bigger. The one important thing that I want you to realize, and this is why it makes it random sampling and not just sampling, is that each person, each, I'll just sort of write a little person up here, each person has equal chance to be in the sample. Each person has equal chance to be in the sample. And this is incredibly important. If we bias a single person or if we bias a group of people, the sample does not become random. And we can talk about the problems of that later on. However, it's still a sample. We can go ahead and just take your family from the population of Americans, and that still is a sample. It's just not random. So next time we'll talk about what are the problems when we go ahead and uh, violate uh, this assumption down here.